and welcome back to On The Couch with Nikki, where I bring you experts for everyone. Today we're going to talk about osteopathy, an alternative therapy many of us don't know a lot about. What is it? When is it used? How can it help? So who's with me on the couch today? I have Charlotte Robin, an osteopath from Body With Soul Clinic, here to explain. Most people have heard of osteopathy, but I think many people just don't know where it fits in, in the scheme of physio, chiro, and, and other alternate therapies. Can you explain a bit about what it is? Osteopathy is a manual therapy, mm -hmm. um, and we use a hands-on technique to try and get as much movement from a joint or tissues on a particular person. Mm -hmm. It's just hands and moving uh, joints in different directions, try and get as much circulation as we possibly can in the body for its healing potential. I'm still trying to delineate in my mind what is the difference between an osteo and a physio, for example, because you both move your hands, you're both moving ligaments, you're both moving joints. I think what would define us um, is the fact that we're very holistic. Okay. If you come in with a neck pain, there's a good chance I'm going to look at your hip and possibly your ankle. We believe that the body has an innate health uh, capacity, it mm -hmm. strives to health, and we're helping it to find that health again by making sure that any blockage, so to speak, yes. is unblocked so that the fluids, the blood, the lymph, the synovial fluid can move along, the nerves can express uh, their signals freely and the best to the ability of that particular person. Right, so it's more about keeping up the flow of what's yes. going on in the body. A good word to describe us is movement. We yeah. want movement at every level from the moment we are conceived to the end for the flux of mm. that health potential to express itself. What are some things that yield the most significant change after coming to see an osteopath? I have many people who show up in the clinic having had a chronic pain for sometimes years. We get very good results. Mm. Um, people very surprised to understand that the root of a problem was not where they thought it was. What have been the biggest success stories that you've had? I've had many people come with um, chronic problems with uh, painkillers um, always at the reach of their hand and after very few sessions you uh, take them off the meds and uh, that's uh, success this is the aim that's huge. osteopaths do not uh, want to see their patient take painkillers so that's that's a very big uh, that's a big uh, win for somebody to get uh, off their pain very much so Okay, so I've had people who had uh, mid-back pain, say, for, um, for a long time, have tried uh, lots of therapies and have suffered with that. And through um, a case history, I've also understood that they had digestive issues. And um, so working on the digestive system, we actually not only work with the pain in the back, but resolve some digestive issues. So osteopathy looks at absolutely everything and every um, movement that can be in the body. So a, a byproduct of working on their back could be improved digestion, but would, could somebody come to you just with digestive issues? Irritable bowel syndrome, acid reflux, um, constipation. Oh, that's um, huge. So that, they, these are things that a lot of people take medication for because they don't know another way. Exactly. And actually, if you address the digestive system itself directly with your hands, you get a lot of very positive results. Wow. There's a lot of magic in osteopathy that I don't think people are aware of. That's amazing. It's wonderful because people don't link necessarily a back pain with a digestive issue and they work together. Wow. What about uh, babies with reflux? Or so we, we see a lot of uh, newborn. They can come from 
the time they're born. So putting our hands in a very gentle manner on their bodies, on their heads, on their pelvis, is sometimes enough to elicit um, a wonderful reaction. A sleeping baby? Babies who don't feed very well, who don't latch on very yes. well, who don't take the bottle well. I so mean, it's a guessing game, especially with babies, because they can't speak, but to be able to yield results from osteopathy to help in these scenarios would be music to a lot of parents' ears, I would imagine. It, it is. We get very good results with uh, babies because they are there are new traumas are not inscribed too deeply and we can really work quite nicely with that. Oh, wow. I also have patients who show up with headaches um, and um, surprisingly um, it, it it actually um, can come from a fall on the backside. Um, oh, okay, so somebody can just come to you saying, I've got headaches, I don't know. And they've been going around for ages trying yep. to solve those headaches. They are medically sound. Yes. I don't think a GP is going to speak to somebody who's got a headache and say, have you thought about your coccyx? And how that has affected it. So it's probably a bit of a process of discovery when someone comes in to just have a bit of a chat about it's what's essential. happened because they it's may essential. not even join the dots. How far back do you have to go? Like, Would something that happened in someone's childhood still have? Yes, absolutely. Wow. That, that could end up being a long session. It <laughs> is not always warranted. Uh, yeah. Sometimes we understand. Like a car accident or something that happened many, many years ago or just something significant yes. is worth mentioning because these things can hang around for decades sometimes. They can. Sometimes the mere shock changes the breathing mechanism wow. and that will have a knock-on effect on your back mm. on your digestion so if you unravel that and work with it you can then um, have wonderful results on on other joints wow gosh the human body is so complicated isn't it there's a lot going on <laughs> there is a lot going on but it's uh, it's wonderfully simple once you um, know how to read it a presentation also that people would come in with is uh, sinusitis. So, um, wow, how do you help somebody's sinuses? Well, th manual therapy as well. Wow. Try to promote circulation of uh, fluids on the face, in the neck, through the jaw. So, these are things that I didn't know an osteopath did sinuses, digestion. Sleeping babies, what else may somebody not know or not realise that they can come to an osteopath for? Well, headaches is not an obvious one, but oh. people do come with headaches. Uh, people um, can also uh, seek help at uh, an osteopathic uh, clinic for um, infections. Uh, throat infections, recurrent uh, infections, uh, to bronchitis, uh, the people come for these things. Wow. Because again, by moving the ribs, by moving um, the um, shoulders, promoting lymph circulation, you get extremely good results on chronic infections. How many sessions does somebody generally need to yield results? We would want very positive results, mm -hmm. at least after the third or the fourth visit. Osteopathy is an all-encompassing therapy which takes a holistic approach to pain and afflictions. So please contact Body With Soul Clinic, get yourself looked at so that you can find a way forward hopefully without any medication at all. Thanks everyone, I'll see you next time.